Only a little over 100 years ago, most individuals did not live past 50. Today, thanks to improved sanitation and advances in medical care, global average life expectancy is now 71 years and exceeds 80 in a number of developed countries. However, increases in lifespan also mean an increasing burden of diseases of older age, such as heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and perhaps the most important cause of disability in older age, dementia. An estimated 25 to 30 percent of people age 85 and older suffer from dementia, causing a huge social and financial impact on the affected individuals, caregivers, and family, as well as society at large. With so many people affected, declining memory and independence might seem like a natural part of the aging process. However, recent scientific work in mice suggests these changes might not be inevitable. How would you try to prevent or reverse age-related cognitive decline? How about replenishing older mice with factors from their younger and healthier counterparts? Scientists have done just that using an experimental technique called parabiosis, in which the circulation of young and old mice is joined, exposing them to shared blood flow. Previous studies show that exposure to young blood improves muscle, liver, and heart condition in older mice, but it wasn't known whether these effects also extend to cognitive function. Excitingly, in 2014, scientists from UCSF and Stanford showed that young blood did improve the performance of older mice on learning and memory tasks and have identified a pathway partially responsible. Mice exposed to young blood via parabiosis for four weeks showed higher expression of a protein known to play an important role in learning and memory called CREB, as well as changes to the brain region involved in memory, the hippocampus. In support of a key role for CREB, Older mice exposed to young blood no longer showed improvement to cognitive function when CREB activity was blocked. Finally, bringing these findings one step closer to the clinic, scientists showed that the anti-aging effect of blood isn't just limited to parabiosis. The same effect also occurs when older mice are treated with plasma from young mice eight times over four weeks. What does this all mean going forward? Showing reversibility to the cognitive decline of old age and identifying a role for the CREB pathway in the context of aging is an exciting first step, but many questions remain. It hasn't been established how long the beneficial effects of young blood on older mice will last, or if there are any downsides, and it isn't yet known how much of these findings could apply to humans. Given the increasing burdens of age-related disease at both individual and societal levels, the results of this study suggest a promising area for further work with high potential therapeutic impact. By staying informed and supporting aging-related research programs like these, we can all contribute to improving long-term health.